Hello everyone. Welcome back to Hadlock Farm um, with our druidic scholar Seamus here as we explore day five, spring one, year one in this, uh, you know, discovery of the rapid axe production and discovery of more building upgrades. Um, today's a big day. Spring, you know, spring five of year one, big day. Oh, speaking of big day, this looks like the vanilla one. That's okay. Hello, Seamus. You see this cat? Cat here? I do. Hello. I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray. Poor little thing. This is awesome because the cat I have, he's actually a rescue cat as well. Both of them are F2 cats, sorry. I think it likes this place. Hey, uh, do you think this farm could use a good cat? Uh, of course, yes. Um, and I have, you know, thought about a name ahead of time. And the name we're going to go for this for this cat is Radagast. So, yes, this is in reference to Lord of the Rings primarily, I would say. Um, you know, he's like the, the brown wizard. Um, but the concept behind it is, you know, it has a little bit more... Um, of a dru druidic basis and it's kind of like the master of beasts um, is one of the interpretations of it and I kind of like this because I want to approach this cat as more of like you know a familiar and less of a pet so he's Radagast um, you know the familiar of the farm and he's kind of the master of the beasts so to speak that he kind of like supervises you know and watches over the barn animals and such as I'm off in the mines or, you know, eventually in Skull Caverns or on the island and such. So that's why we're going to go with the name Radagast. Radagast the cat. Radagast are familiar. Well, little Radagast, you be a good kitty now, okay? Yes. Thanks, Radagast. Awesome. I don't know where he's hiding. Where are you, Radagast? Are you inside? You are. Hi, snoozy boy. All right. Oh, I don't have to look up anything, but it's okay. As long as we pet him every day, it looks like the water might be already full. That's interesting. And you'll see if it, the texture changes. Huh. All right. Well, I think as long as you pet him every day, you'll manage to fill out his hearts for, you know, grandpa's evaluation. I got some new items in stock, a deluxe fishing pole and some bait that you can attach to it. You can use bait to make fish bite pasta. Hope to see you soon, Willy. So yes, that's for, um, oh my gosh, why is my mind being here? The, the fiberglass rod, which I might add to here. Fiberglass rod, um, I think it's 1,800 gold. Just add it to the bottom, that's fine. Um, I might add a, actually a two by, just so that again, category wise, makes more sense, oops. And I spelt this wrong, added an extra, oop. Header bolt. Okay. You can, I could hide it in the overlay, but honestly, it's fine because it'll feel nice once you know, check things off and they pop up. Um, yeah, there we go. I know I didn't add in the, um, what did I add? The rusty cog, but I do have it written down. I remember that from yesterday. To our valued Jojo Mart customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal. Uh, blah, 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 liability, yada, yada, yada. It's fine. It's been approved. Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. So that's why you're literally drilling. All right. Um, we apologize for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value our continue, your continued support and patronage. Morris, Georgia, Georgia customer satisfaction representative. Cool. Thanks, Morris. Oh my goodness. So popular today. Dear Farmer Seamus, I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. It's a really nice little house. I know, it is kind of cute. However, you might need some more space someday. That's where I can, that's, wow. That's where I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I can expand your house. The first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. With a kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipes you learned, um, any recipes you learned. Anyways, I hope you're starting to feel at home in Stardew Valley. Your local carpenter, Robin. Cool, so we are gonna be getting the building upgrade um, at some point. Um, again, we'll get there when we get there. 
Nice, we got one gold, so that's good. Okay, I'm gonna put the gold in here. I'm gonna put one regular in here. We'll take the rest up here. Um, see, there you go. That's the, this is this, the custom reminders. It pops up just kind of like you completed a quest, which is nice because it makes uh, the auditory reminder, which is very important for me because, you know, I've used to do in the past, but then I'm very selective in terms of attention and when I want to actually acknowledge things that I left for myself. So having a little trill happen will be nice because then it will kind of capture the attention and remind me that I should go down to the traveling merchant. I don't really have a whole lot of money, so hopefully nothing too important is there. Okay, we are also going to put you away. We're gonna grab this. Ooh, should I bring my hoe? Oh, actually, I'm gonna bring an ax because we're gonna need four more wood. Let's cut down one tree. Um, I'll cut down this one because it's kind of blocking my crops oh, a little bit, which is kind of a bummer in terms of energy consumption, but. 19 spring onions which we can work with okay so then i'll actually make a chest as well for the mines drop off the rest of this don't need my axe anymore either okay let's go check out traveling merchant check for spring onions go get the um community center cutscene, and then probably only get to level five of the mines honestly because it's it's rough. <laughs> Ooh, look at this uh, debris spreading there. That's kind of scary. I have to start upgrading my tools sooner, just in terms of efficiency. All right, hello. I can't remember what your name is. You have a certain name in the files. Um, interesting. Uh, honestly, I mean, oh shoot, the apple would be nice because then that would help to not having an apple tree, but we need more more than one so am i going to regret this probably so the nice thing about the traveling merchant is that there's been an additional column here that's been added for a raffidax item um, for the most part we're going to be <laughs> i might regret this in the future but we're going to be ignoring this because we're going to be getting all the stuff uh, by other means like i think this might be a tree fruit i don't know i haven't um, explored things a little anything too crazy but yeah we're going to be kind of ignoring that for the most part until maybe later down when I realize that there's certain things I needed from it, but uh, we'll encounter that when we will. Um, I'm a little bit nervous about that apple, thinking that I should have gotten it, but it's fine because I think we'll just go the the uh, apple sapling route and just grow it. Probably um, early mid summertime plant it, week one or two, depending on if I'm wise with my money and remember to hold on to some because those saplings are expensive especially early game so this is oh thank goodness might have some quality ones pop up which oh my gosh there's actually a few k's that's actually fine if there's some quality ones because we'll just eat those first have we shipped one no okay i'm actually gonna eat this right away because i'll just replenish some of the nice so now we need to go back up and we need to enter through the bus stop because that's the only way to um, proc the community center cutscene. Which is unfortunate because that is going to add a little bit of time onto our uh, walking commutes, but that's fine. I just, yeah, I like the layers of this farm. So fantastic. Mix, like in terms of just like, you know, like world immersion and world building, it makes a bit more sense because the farm is located a little bit more on the, the Alpine area. Oh, it looks like it's using the Riverland map. That's, that's interesting. I don't even think I chose the Riverland farm. No, because it's a custom map type. So that's interesting how, you know, the world map is using Riverland. Anyways. Oh, okay, so we can actually grab this because it's okay if we hang it out in our chest for a little bit. And we have one more. Nice. All right. Let's go have a conversation with Mr. Lewis. Oh, hi there. Sorry, I clicked that really fast. <laughs> What an eyesore.
This is the Pelican Kent. Oh, wow. All right. Lewis sent too many in. Um, this is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it, anyway. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. So was this like when he lived here before he was mayor? Because I'm like, that's a reflection of him, if anything, how it ended up like this. Anyway, sorry, I'm not trying to project onto anyone. Um, now, now just look at it. It's shameful. I, he's kind of alluded to it himself, honestly. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. <sighs> All right, let's talk about social issues anyways. Um, but listen to me, I sound like an old fool because you are an old fool. It's fine. That's what comes with being a boomer. Georgia Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Ah, uh, well. If anyone else buys a Georgia Corporation company, whatever, membership, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. I mean, wow, that's like really... You're not going to go through a committee, nothing, you know, there's going to be no levels of approval. It's just going to be like, ah, sorry, no, someone got a plastic card. Next. <laughs> uh, life was only that simple in terms of decision making. Sigh. Here, let's go inside. All right. Thank you for unlocking it. I like how he unlocked it and later he talks about how the children play in here. So it's like, obviously that's not the only way in. Hmm? What's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. Fancy word, very post-apocalyptic. I like it. Oh. Hello. What? Goodbye. What's the matter? Are you ill? No, I'm just drunk. You saw something? Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. Spooky rats. You're worrying me, Seamus. I mean, you worry me too, Lewis. Look, I think I'm gonna head home. I need some lunch. Oh, I think it actually kind of makes a little bit more sense in terms of when we came here. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you could um, help catch that rat if you have some extra time. It's a very interesting reason to leave a building open because, you know, that's typically how rats get inside. Anyways, strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. Well, good thing is when you actually progress towards the cutscene is that it spits you out right in front of the building. Where if you skip it, you just go right back to the bus stop entrance. So one of the benefits of actually sitting down and working through the cutscenes. This is a really fascinating language. I'm like curious to know how Concerned Ape chose to use this and if it actually like means anything or if you kind of just like face rolled on the keyboard and let this populate. This is very neat. Anyways, cool. Now that we have um, initiated or completed the requirements for the wizard portion, let us, oh shoot, I should solve my parsnips while I'm up here. Might actually save one for the shipping achievement because then all the rest I can sell to him in the future. So we'll just sell 12, hold on to one, we'll buy one bean. Um, we kind of, we'll hang on the cauliflower just because we get nine from the museum. Buy one of you, buy one of you. I one of you and one of you for shipping. That's one, two, three, four, five. And now let's just go six, seven, eight. I'm gonna start going in batches of eights because of quality sprinklers in terms of mapping out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For another one, five, six, seven, eight. So that's three plots. We'll do four. Five, six, seven, eight. How much money do we have? Four, okay. So there's another two. 
There's another four. I'm trying to think. Sorry, it'll make sense once I actually plan out my scarecrow plot tomorrow. Um, there'll be a thing tomorrow because the rest of the parsnips that we planted should be done by then. So then we can kind of reassess everything. But right now we have one plot, two, three, four, eight plots. And we have 34 G, so that's pretty much all that we're going to get. Okay, so let's just combine these into more of a cohesive stack. And now it's mine's time, and it's 12 o'clock noon, so not too bad. I think with this, again, my goal will be just to get to level 5. Because um, it's, a, it's a little bit of a learning curve, getting used to the, the combat system and how it's changed with uh, Margo. Um, there was one change that I did when I played, and I, I kind of liked it, but I might just keep it again just as vanilla as possible. Or... <laughs> You know, as um, I don't even remember to go that way out. As intended by the the mod creator creators themselves, without fiddling with settings. Because again, I've gone down the rabbit hole of changing mod settings and then just kind of throw the mod out the window. Hmm, Marlon, Marlon, Marlon. I don't know. We'll see what I say. I know it's not an I N, but. I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good ore down there. But a dark place, undisturbed for so long. I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. True, I'll find garbage. Here, take this. You might need it. Thanks, Zelda. Oh. Oh. So that's different. Oh my gosh, it's not the rusty sword. I'm Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventures Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself and I might think about making you a member. Cool, I will prove myself. Can you not see the lava bowl on my back already? So this is new. Holy, I think the stats are a bit different. You know, in terms of the damage, it's a little bit similar. Um, but... Because it normally it's the rusty rusty blade, which I think is maybe a bit less. It's like one to three damage, but plus ten percent swing speed, minus twenty five crit power, so it just doesn't crit at all. But here's a new thing about the Margo mod is that you you kind of swing back and forth. Oh, it did keep my setting. Okay, so normally when you have the base Margo mod, you can only swing four times and then you kind of enter like a breath phase, which, you know, my approach is like you're kind of, um, you're catching your breath again. But I think I changed it to the maximum just because four, it was, I was honestly dying a lot with it and, you know, taking a lot of damage. So I changed it to 10. So basically you can swing 10 times and then you kind of have to catch your breath. You can also just hold down your mouse and it just does it. But I kind of like it, you know, in terms of how it's like you can't just indefinitely swing. Like you do go through muscle fatigue, you know, the lactic acid builds up. So it's a little bit more real life. Um, a new thing with a Margo mod, which is probably the biggest learning curve for me, is you swing in the direction you click. Where normally you can click any direction and you just swing whatever way your character is facing. I think there is a setting to turn that off, but I'm not going to really peruse that too much. We're going to kind of keep it as is. But yeah, so we'll see me kind of fail um, to varying degrees of grace through here. But yeah, the goal is just to get down to level 5. We'll see. Maybe maybe push for level 10, but from my, my test file that I was doing, level 5 seemed to be kind of, you know, a good base goal to set, especially once we start encountering um, some monsters. If I you know, ever get off level one, it's fine. Just wanted to harvest every rock here before I, there we go. So as we go through the mines too, I wanna to mention this. Um, we're gonna be encountering a lot of new content um, and all of the content we're gonna be encountering is from the Rapidax production, okay? Tanky slime, tanky slime, tanky slime. It's funny because then the bugs aren't tanky at all. Oh my goodness, I'm standing on you, okay. Let's get some copper, 
So we need, I think it's 20 copper and then 25 stone, I believe. Yeah, for a furnace. Um, ultimately, I'm going to want nine furnaces for nine. Because then you get one from the, ooh, nice. You get one from the community center. So we'll be sitting on 10 for a little while until, you know, we kind of upgrade our pickaxe a little bit and we can kind of uh, progress through the mine at a more rapid pace. And once we kind of find ourselves on the copper levels again, just to farm resources and monsters. You can kind of cheese this combat system a little bit by moving. It kind of resets the the swing limit that you have imposed. I'm gonna die because this slime is evil. These male slimes do so much damage. Use this just in case because sometimes you get into hairy situations. And I know, oh nice, a freebie. Oh my gosh, rock crabs actually hit for a lot as well. I'm gonna die. Oh, my reset. Nice. I really do want to get a crab. Oh, it gave me a cherry bomb. I'm actually going to use that right away just for this um, clump of ores here. I'm just going to kind of break my way in actually first. But why not? I can use the stone. I don't know if I'm out of the radius. Break these. Start to get the initial hardwood. Yes, yeah, that's what I want because I need 10 for the community center. I'm going to go get this iron up here. Or use copper up here. Okay, so we got one item for the museum, which is good. We're going to need to get a few because, again, I'm going to want to unlock the um, the free cauliflower seeds you get from that. So, No. I'm going to have to go more, do some more fishing for some money so that I can actually get a better weapon. Which I, I, I love it because, you know, the weapon purchasing system that's in vanilla is like so obsolete because you just progress with like the ones you get during the mines. And then so it's like, why buy a weapon when you just get a better one from just playing the game? Which, you know, itself is, is nice, but it'd be cool to actually interact with um, a wider depth of content and, you know, explore things and like have options. This is one thing I'm not used to is actually having to like face or like click specifically in the things I want to break because I'm used to being in the right direction. I can like click over here, but if I do that, then I turn around. So it's making sure that I'm actually interacting in the intended direction. Now I could go kill those slimes because when you kill slimes, it actually, or like you kill the monsters on a map, it like dramatically increases the chance of producing a staircase. Oh, I left that copper there. But apparently we didn't need to do that and I just left a custom war there, an ore node. I just saw that as we left, I'm sorry. But we have enough to make um, ooh, two furnaces, which is awesome. So now the next goal is 7.30. Uh, we'll see if we can push level 10. I don't know though, because my health and um, Energy is looking quite low, quite terrifying, but we'll see what we can do. See if we get lucky with free. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna just reset this. I don't wanna deal with that. Let's try and get one that's a bit more friendly. Bugs are okay, because again, they, they die quite fast. Oh, yes. <gasps> that's gonna help so much. No, don't have to be as precise. Oh, a blue slime, that's terrifying. Okay, I'm leaving. So funny, you know, in a normal playthrough, I wouldn't even bat an eye at a blue slime, but for some reason, it's just quite overwhelming. Okay, we'll see what damage we can do. Even if we don't get down to level 10, um, just like the resources we're collecting is quite worth it. Goodness, can't wait for salmon berry season. They they don't heal like quite as much, obviously, but they're just um, they're a little bit in spring onions. Like they heal like twenty five or something. This is like um, spring onions are half that. 
Oh, level seven. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm not even gonna try that slime. I'll, we'll be here until two two a.m. if we. Oh, that hurts me so much because it's gonna drop like slime boots or something, which will help with immunity. But it's just it's not worth the time investment. Oh, there's a freebie right there. I'm blind as a bat. Okay, nine p.m. We're still doing good. Okay, like pretty okay on time. Ooh, lots of lots of bugs. That'll help. Oh my gosh, we are getting so lucky. Holy. Ah. Oh my gosh. Evil. Evil. I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh, this is so slow though. Help. Here we go. Just having that increase in damage is actually still kind of nice. Oh, we got the level up. Okay, so it's honestly, it's okay if we pass out. And I might actually pass out because I only have 34 gold. I'm just gonna have to make sure I have the stuff in my inventory that I want in my inventory so that we don't have to... There is so many slimes over there. That's scary. I don't want to go that way. Ooh, I'm just gonna eat this right away. See if we can pop a ladder over here. But yeah, I'm gonna see if we can get to level 10. If not, we'll... Like if the, you know... The end is not near then we'll <laughs> we'll reassess as long as i can i have those seeds that's the main thing is i want to make sure i have the seeds in my inventory ah. let's space these out a little bit oh gosh i hate being slimed i'm waiting for my special attack slam back away yeah nice Oh, I'm still, what the heck? I was like, auto attacking, that was so weird. And of course there's a rock crab. We're stuck on this floor for an eternity. Oh, there we go, actually that cleaned it up pretty well. Ooh, we've got some cave carrots, who wanted that? Shane? What is the timeline on that delivery? Final day, well, rip. How are we doing 11.40? I don't know. Oh, I have a cherry bomb though. Can't no places right in this cluster right here. And we're gonna see if odds are not on our side. That's okay. I'm gonna go and break these because this is my host something. Oh my goodness, really another weapon. Three to four damage. Okay, I might stick with the club just because I'm not a huge fan of dagger. I'm gonna try, it's okay. Or kill that bug just to hopefully increase our oh there's a slime down there whoa what the heck why are you so zoomy no and there's doggies too it's doomed Ooh, two crits i'm just gonna tank this just because it okay you'll see why i want to oh my god i'm gonna die Okay, so this is why I really wanted to go to level 10, because I experienced this earlier. Um, the rewards are different. So, wow, you get farm totems from getting to level 10. That's actually pretty awesome, because that's going to be really nice in clutch scenarios, which is not right now, but um, okay, I'm actually going to leave them here, because there's no benefit of having farm totems on the farm. I'm going to put these in here, too, because I can sell those at the Adventurer's Guild once I get access to it. And I'm going to grab all of this back here leave the coal 16 so not enough for building another um furnace that's okay i'm gonna grab one of you to sell the other one can be used in the community center I'm gonna take these and i'll take you because we'll make a visit over to the museum probably before we come back here in the future Sweet. Uh, might as well go look to see if we can find any forage on the way home, like that shamrock or whatever that was there. I can't remember what it's called. But yeah, we have no money. We'll lose 10% of 34, so we'll lose 3 gold, and we leveled up, so we'll get our energy back. So yeah, why not just kind of load up the inventory in the process. Yeah, I think we've read about a shamrock before. Yeah. 
because it gives no energy. Maybe we'll just try giving it all. I feel like it might just be like a neutral gift or anything. Like it doesn't seem pretty spectacular in any sense. So many leaks is actually really good. Leaks are um, quite healing. <laughs> I actually start holding on to a few of them just for that specific reason. How low can we go before we fall asleep? Can I say, oh, I was gonna try and sit at the table. Cool. Well, this might just go into the next day. So that was day five. Oh no, it's nice. We got the level up. That was day five of um, Hemlock Farm with our nice druidic scholar, Seamus here. We got our lovely cat familiar who is Radagast, who will be, you know, um, watching over the farm in our absence. And we also got some level ups. So we'll be building the scarecrow tomorrow and kind of redoing our our farming plot just kind of like in a in a sprinkler formation not like we're going to be getting sprinklers anytime soon but just like you know just for convenience and we also got fertilizer which will be really nice in terms of planting some of these new crops um specifically the parsnips just to guarantee we get those five gold ones and it's also free to make and it just increases your you know your income so yeah that is all that we're going to do today thanks for visiting us on day five of hemlock farm we will see you tomorrow